Hey, what are you up to? IPL season just started. Checking the updates. Well, I will support RCB. By the way, you didn't ask for coffee this time. Oh, the milk turns sour. I can't help it. You should have avoided this chemical reaction by keeping milk in refrigerator. Chemical? What? You should come to science class tomorrow morning to learn further. Well, I haven't opened the books yet. But sure, I will come to the class tomorrow. Yeah. But what's the first chapter is about? Tell me so that I can catch up early. It's about chemical reactions and their representation in the form of chemical equation. Need not to worry. Our chemistry teacher is Anand sir. He is quite good. Oh, it's boring. Back to school after vacations. Feel positive, bro. It's new class, and we are in class ten now. Yeah. New books, new dress, new inspirations. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I hope you all are having good time. I am Anand Singh, your science teacher. Before starting, kindly introduce yourselves one by one. Prakash. Hello, sir. I am Saurabh Sekhar. Lucky. Hello, I am Swati Mishra. Hello, I am Shreya Nagarajan. Karishma. Sumit. Hi. I am Shantanu Kumar. Faisal. Rama. Okay, so let's start with the first chapter, chemical reactions and equations. So we all know that when ice melts, it is converted into liquid water, and when same liquid water is electrolyzed, two new substances are formed, that is hydrogen and oxygen. Let's concentrate on first change first. Here you see the process of conversion of water into ice or ice into water. In both process you see the chemical composition is same that is H2O. So here you see the chemical composition of both ice and water is same and basically in this process of melting or condensation no new chemical products has been formed. Such type of changes in which no new chemical substance is formed are known as physical changes. Now coming to the second case that is electrolysis of water. What happens here? The chemical composition of initial substance was H2O and the chemical composition of product forms are H2 and O2. Both are different. You see here, the chemical composition of initial phase and final phase are different and new chemical products has been formed in this process. Such processes in which new chemical products are formed, that means if chemical composition changes, such type of changes are known as chemical changes. The chemical reaction that we have to study now is signified by chemical change. So chemical reactions are nothing but chemical changes. Any doubts till now? Anyone? Sir, are there more examples of such chemical reactions? I mean real life examples? There are plenty. You see such things daily. Milk turning sour, matchstick burning. Even breathing process is also a chemical reaction. We inhale oxygen used for combustion of food we consume. Wow! We are performing chemical reaction every second. Why only breathing? Other metabolism processes like digestion are also chemical reaction. There are various chemical reactions that we see in our day-to-day -day life. For example, rusting of iron. It is nothing but the red-brown layer formed over iron metal. We will discuss it later. Next is cut formation that we all see in our home. Matchstick burning is also a chemical reaction. Breathing that we take every second is also a chemical reaction. In breathing, oxygen is taken and Combustion of food takes place. That is also a chemical process. New substance has been formed from given substances. How can we signify a chemical reaction? Good question. There are certain indicators which signify the chemical reaction has taken place. They are change in physical state. This means physical state of product formed may differ from reactants. Second is change in color. Color of products may be differ from color of reactants. Next is change in temperature. 
some heat energy might get released or absorbed during chemical reaction. Apart from this, there is another indicator that is evolution of gas. That is some gas is evolved which can be tested using some chemical test or physical test. Can anyone guess how gas evolved can be signified? Hmm, I think by its smell, vapors, bubbles formation. Yes, very good. Also, there are some chemical tests for some gas. So, we have already learnt about the various indicators of chemical reactions that are change in physical state, change in temperature, change in color and evolution of gas. You know, first three can be signified easily. Change in physical state, you can see that something is converting into solid into gas or solid into liquid. Change in temperature can be signified by touching. Change in color can be observed easily. But how to check if evolution of gas has been taken place? Well, there are various ways. First one is bubble formation. You see, we have seen in the reaction of electrolysis of water that bubble formation has been taken place. That signifies that hydrogen and oxygen gas was evolved. There are other ways also, such as fumes. Color fumes or colorless fumes are formed when gases are evolved. Next is its smell. Smell of sulfur dioxide gas is very poor. So such types of gas can be signified by its smell or we can say by its odor. There are some other chemical tests such as chemical test of evolution of hydrogen gas is that hydrogen gas burns with pop sound. So there are the various ways in which evolution of gas can be checked. Sir, writing full chemical process is tedious. I mean, we have written a lot of things. You need not to. You can represent a chemical reaction as a chemical equation on paper. It is an informative way to represent a chemical reaction. And that's the next topic that we are going to discuss. Chemical equation. As I just said, chemical equation is a way of representation of chemical reaction. In other words, a chemical equation is a symbolic representation of any chemical reaction. Suppose we have a substance A and B reacting and forming a product AB. Since A and B are reactant, they are known as reactants. And AB is the final product form. It is known as product. You see, the reactants and products are signified using their chemical symbols. Suppose here we have a reaction. Magnesium strip is burning and a product form is magnesium oxide. So in this case, the reactants is magnesium strip and product form is magnesium oxide, which is a white powder. So you see, magnesium strip is burning and product is a white powder magnesium oxide. So sample of Magnesium is Mg and it's burning that means it is reacting with oxygen gas. So Mg and O2 are here reactants and the product form is magnesium oxide MgO. So anyone can write a chemical equation for this reaction? I think I can. Yes, go on. Here magnesium is burning in presence of air. That means magnesium having symbol Mg is reacting with oxygen gas represented as O2. Product form is white powder that is magnesium oxide represented as MgO. So the chemical reaction will be Mg plus O2 that is MgO. As you said reactants that is Mg and O2 will be written on left hand side. And product is signified on right hand side of equation. Product is here magnesium oxide that is MgO written on right hand side of the equation. Good job Sriya. Sir, I think number of oxygen atom is not same on both side of the equation. That is looking odd. What do you mean? Have I written wrong equation? You have written as I said. But Fajal is also correct. Good observation Fajal. Thank you sir. A chemical equation should be balanced. Shreya, go back to your seat. 
I will explain this.